Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So welcome to the first part of my playthrough of Scarface. So about two and a half years ago, I did um, Scarface, but um, I wanted to replay this game because it's one of my favorite gangster games and one of the best open world games I've ever played. And I wanted to replay it specifically with a Tony Montana cosplay, so as you guys can see here, I tried my best with Tony's suit. Um, it is the same layout that I used for the Godfather um, playthrough, but I also have his vest. So I have his vest on here, you know, white shirt, I even got the gold chain. So tried my best on the outfits, and this isn't the only outfit that I'll be wearing on this playthrough. I have like two more other Tony Montana outfits that I'll be wearing. If you're new to my channel, I do tend to dress up as the characters as I play through games. So this is, you know, one of the best games ever, and came out in 2006. This is based on the movie, and I'll say this. If you did not see the movie, I highly recommend before you watch this playthrough, go and watch the movie because you will enjoy this playthrough so much more. This is the best movie game that I've ever played. Um, I say second best movie game is probably The Godfather, but I think Scarface is probably my favorite movie game of all time. So this is an amazing game, such a great economy, such a great open world game, great story, great activities, really good combat in this game, a lot of cool vehicles. But anyways, enough of me talking, so let's start this up right here. So this game starts out right at the end of the movie. If you wait, you actually get this cutscene, and this is how the movie ended. Yeah, so that's how the movie ended. So this guy here, this guy is the Skull, and this is the, um, uh, Sosa's personal hitman. And here you can actually find, um, uh, Gina, who's Tony's dead sister. If you wanna know how she died, you'd have to see the movie. Her death is right before this scene. You wanna go to war? Okay! Tony's now in blind rage mode, okay. You need a fucking army, you I love this uh, rage mode. It's it's really cool. The game goes in the first person mode. Tony, come on, man! Jesus Christ, they're everywhere. We got your car out in front, but the entry collapsed, so we couldn't get to you. We can use the underground passage to the backyard and then to your car. Fucking go, man! Let's go. It makes sense for Tony to have, um, you know, a secret underground tunnel of how he was paranoid about security in the movie. I like the music that plays during this because it's kind of like the Scarface theme of, from the movie right now. Yeah, this game is pretty gory, um... But 
But um, uh, you guys are probably noticing something about this. This looks very similar to Vice City. For people that haven't seen Scarface, Vice City was mostly based on Scarface. If it wasn't for Vice City, I mean, it wasn't for Scarface, Vice City wouldn't exist. The return, every day above ground is a good day. So you have these, like, scenes in the game where you have, like, certain quotes from the movie. This way! This way! Over here, boss! This way, boss! Quickly! Oh, that's not good. That's the one thing I always wondered about the movie before the game came out. I always wondered where the cops are. Because, literally, this is like a war zone here. And if you want to know what the hell is going on, who these guys are, these guys are a Bolivian cartel, um, uh, uh, they're hitmen from, um, uh, the boss's name was Alejandro Sosa. Wonder how Tony's tiger got loose. M16. Oh, and I forgot about the grenade launcher. Yep. There we go. Basically, what happened is near the end of the movie, um, uh, Tony was working with Sosa, and um, uh, Tony had legal problems, and Sosa told him that he'd get rid of it for him, help him deal with it, if Tony was to assist um, uh, uh, Alberto, uh, one of Sosa's guys, to New York, and they were supposed to take out this guy, the United Nations, that was going to um, uh, clear this out here. They were supposed to kill this guy at the United Nations that was talking about the drug cartels and about Sosa's um, involvement with the Bolivian government. And um, there was, they were put a bomb in the car, but the guy's um, car had um, his wife and kids and Tony didn't want to detonate it. And he killed Alberto and the guy gave the speech to the UN and Sosa blamed him for that. DEA, that's Drug Enforcement um, Administration, it's a federal agency. Mr. Sosa. Yes? Speak to me. The job is done. Montana is gone. Everything is destroyed. Nothing left. The policia have taken over the mansion, but there's nothing left. Nothing for him to come back to. His empire is destroyed. So he pretty much lost everything here. Um. And that, that money, $65 million, that's actually how much Scarface grossed in uh, theaters. Shit. Oh, shit, Manny, I need you. I need you, hermano. You asshole, Antonio. You're an asshole, you know why? You don't listen, pendejo. Not even to yourself. You fucked up. You fucked up good, because you caused this. This everything. What happened? What the fuck happened? Oh, you're telling me. Why didn't you fucking listen? Hey, Sosa! You thought you could take me? No! No, I take Tony Montana down for me! You hear me, Sosa, you cocksucker? No one but me. You did me a favor, you shit. Go rid of my baggage. Make me lean like before. Okay, what you gotta do to make it right? To get everything back. Sosa! The prick gonna die! Gonna bring out a war against that fuck! Anybody who tried to work with him, fuck him up! 
So this is um, uh, what's really awesome about the game. The Road to Sosa. Rival gangs have taken control of your old empire. You must regain control of Miami's four main turrets, Little Havana, Downtown, South Beach, and North Beach, to regain the power and reputation you need to take on Sosa. So, um, uh, like I said, in the movie, you know, Tony dies at the very end. Um, but um, uh, in, this, in this game... Um, uh, you basically, it's like a what-if scenario, and for people wondering which one is canon, is the movie canon or is the game canon? Both. They're both canon. Um, uh, because people say the game isn't canon, but the, in reality they're both canon. They're just canon in different universes. Um, and so, in this version, Tony survives, and he gets revenge on everyone that screwed him over, um, uh, in the movie. So this, that's gonna be just really satisfying, so, gonna have a lot of fun playing this. So let's do this. So here we go, three months later. And, um, I'm wearing the exact same shirt Tony wears in this scene, and also the same, uh, in the Sunray Hotel, near the beginning of the movie, when he does that deal, and it goes bad with the chainsaw scene. Exact same shirt, also. But it's it's a it's a massive nightmare. Voice of uh, Tony Montana performed by Andre. Uh, yeah. So the so. Sheffield and Associates. How can I help you? Yeah, I want to talk to George. May I ask who's inquiring? Why don't you tell him Tony Montana would like to have a word with him? Hello, you there? Of course, Mr. Montana. Mr. Sheffield is interested to speak with you as well. Okay. Do you want to let me in or is this how we're going to do business now? Do the hole in the wall? Mr. Sheffield is having a business lunch at the Babylon Club at the moment. I can tell him that you wish to speak with him. That's okay. So Sheffield is Tony's personal lawyer, so we're going to go and see Sheffield. We'll save. And uh, this is these two. I hope you guys like the outfit. Um, uh, it's the exact same one. The exact same shirt that I'm wearing is the exact same one he has. He also wears that in the movie. Um, and I also have, um... Okay, tab to... Okay, let's see. Uh, business. I also have one more outfit, so I have three outfits in total for this playthrough. Um, find Sheffield at the Babylon Club. Okay. Because I'm playing on a controller, I just have to figure out what buttons it is for the, um, uh... Uh, okay. Okay, A is to, um, accelerate. Okay. 
So yeah, this is just, this game has like a massive cult following, and, um, or the movie too. And I, I, I looked it up, and apparently Activision has the rights to this game, so I don't know why we can't get like a, you know, a Scarface 2 or a reboot or, um, you know, whatever one day. Hopefully we can one day, um... And, um, uh, if you want to know something, like, Vice City's based on Miami and Scarface in the 1980s, like, Diaz's mansion, or Tommy's mansion later on, is based on Tony's mansion. I mean, um, uh, and I like to think that, like, Tommy Versetti is based on Tony's bad side, where I like to think that, like, Vic Vance is based more on, like, Tony's conscience. Um, uh, and I'll talk about that more in, like, one a video one day. But that's always the way I saw it, and the ways I, I, I thought about it personally. So here we got the Babylon Club. Mr. Montana? Jesus Christ, I thought you were dead. You writing a fucking book or what? No, no, I, I just... Do you know how hard it's been to get any good coke around here? Is that Hossa Sheffield in the club? Yeah, he in here. There's a couple of guys from Vice in here too. Watch your back, Tony. Vice, Thanks, that's man. drug squad, um, the police. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to uh, turn off the music volume because if I don't turn off music, I'm gonna get copyrighted so much on this playthrough. Okay. Yo, bitch, can't you see I'm limping? <laughs> if you're wanting free legal advice, how about a little head? Seriously. We need to talk, George. What do you want? Tony? I want Sosa's head on a fucking platter, man. Sosa, Tony? Impossible. Why? You got some kind of shortage of platters? Tony, come on. Where the hell you been? What happened? Whoa, that's what. Sosa probably think I'm dead or run off or something. Well, I'm back, okay? This is my town, my world, George, and nobody's gonna take it away from me. I come to talk to you first because you know what's going on. You still work for me, George, huh? You still my lawyer? Tony, babe, you know the score. Uh, it's gonna be dangerous to be associated with you right now. Word's gonna spread that you're back in town. Can't do it. Spread the word, Chef. Come on, look at me. I know Miami. I'm gonna take it all back. You know it's true. So surprised taking all those other guys for a big ride. Caspar Gomez, Nacho Contreras, the Diaz brothers, they're all fucking worms. Hey, you want me? It's gonna cost you, Tony. And more than before. None of that chicken feed either. Where's the loyalty, George, you fucking snake? I know you got connections. You just gotta make it happen. You took my money before, and that makes you just as bad as me. That's true. But I'm alive, George. I'm Scumbag alive. Scumbag lawyer. And now what you gonna do, huh? You still work for me. All right, Tony. You want to get something going? A friend of mine runs the bar in Coconut Grove. Talk to her. I, uh, I don't work for free. Why'd you always hang around yeah, this no. club all the time? Don't you know, have my a job? work is mental, Tony. I leave the physical crap to thugs like you. Call me when oh, I'm a thug. That's why I live in a mansion and you live in a condo. No, that's why you live in constant fear and I live in modest bliss. In fear? I ain't afraid of nothing, man. Nothing. Tony, whatever you say, just don't bring your war onto my doorstep. My war isn't with you, George. Just don't get between me and that Sosa. Trust me on this, Tony. I would rather stand in front of a speeding bus than be anywhere near the two of you. That's kind of foreshadowing. You can only have that conversation once with um, uh, George. And you can have a lot of conversations with, like, different NPCs in the game. You can just hey, talk baby, to them. You got it where it counts. Are you for real? Sure, I'm real. Look at me. I'm right here, baby. Everything you ever dream about. You're some kind of retard? Retard? What's that? Spoken like a true asshole. I don't understand Miami women, man. I thought you liked money. Don't you want, right? You want to make me puke? You got to look in your eye like you have been fucked in a jail. What's your damage? What's all over your face, pal? Your wife's pussy. Well, <laughs> little man, I'd be real careful walking around town with that stuff. Yeah, you never know who you might run into. Hey, who'd you call it little, man? I kicked your ass all over the dance floor, okay? Okay, Tony, no more bullshit. You know how this works. We've got your mansion locked up tighter than a nun's ass, and if you want it back, you're gonna have to cough up the cash. Oh, you guys don't quit. You're like a, like a fucking cockroach, always looking for that hole to crawl into and worm your way in. Look, buddy, we know what you're up to. We've got our eyes on you now. Watch for us. We're everywhere. You know what I'm talking about? The cable guy, pizza Fuck. delivery. Hell. We might even be cleaning your mama's carpets. You need $10,000 to get Vice to get up to Phoenix. Mansion. See what he knows. 
So those guys, those guys are, um, uh, those guys are Vice, and, um, uh, Vice, it's like a squad in the police unit that's responsible for drug crimes, and, uh, notably very corrupt. They're actually from the same, um, they're from the same unit that Mel Bernstein was in. So Mel Bernstein is a corrupt Vice cop that, uh, Tony killed in the movie. Man, I, I miss this game a lot. But I remember when I was a teenager, I played this game so much when I was a teenager. I messed around I messed around so much in this game. And also about Tony's lawyer, uh, Sheffield. Um, he's actually voiced by James Woods, which is the same guy who voices Mike Torino in San Andreas. And, um, on top of that is, um, uh, Sheffield looks very different than he does in the, um, because Sheffield has kind of a southern accent in the movie, um, and he looks very different, but in the game, he, uh, you know, different voice actor, and he also looks very different than he does in the movie. In this country, you gotta make the money first. Phoenix! How'd you doing, man? Oh, shit. It's fucking true. Oh, word spreads fast. Tony, Jesus, it's good to see you. How's business, Felix? Just there working all the angles? It's tough, Tony. I've been laying low, you know, since you left. Sosa's trying to run me out. He's putting the squeeze on all the small-time suppliers. Surprise! All that gonna change. The others are pissed. Nacho Contreras and the Diaz brothers lost out. They heard about Sosa working with Gaspar. It's a war, Tony. They're all trying to take over what you had. Tell me what you know, man. I was at your storehouse two months ago, you know. I didn't know what was going on. Word on the street was that you were dead, so I had to look around. When I got there, I recognized a couple of your guys, but then I saw Gaspar. He was inside watching over the loading of a delivery truck. I bought a couple of keys off them, but the price was jacked. It's been tough since you left, Tony. There are only a few independent dealers you can trust anymore. That's all gonna change. Do you work for me? We take this town by the balls. I'm with you, Tony, if you need me, man. I need to start making my own moves. Gotta get back in, you know? Gonna have to pay off the vice to get my mansion back, fuckers. From there, we can rebuild the business. Take what I've got to get you started. Talk to Coco. She's one of the only dealers we can trust anymore. She works the bar down in the Grove. If you ever need a hit to get rolling, just come find me, Tony. Okay, man. It's good to have you back, man. The fucking Sosa's gonna die for what he put me through, man. Vengeance will be yours, man. All yours. The cockroach better run and fucking hide. I'm taking back what's mine, Felix. I got what you need, Tony. It's good to be back. Although things are fucking changed around here. This town is going to hell without me. You're speaking my kind of language. Nobody gonna take it away from me again, man. I got what you need, Tony. You're speaking my kind of language. So that's it. Um, you can talk to... So some of the unique characters, you know, you have conversations with them. Um, a lot of people miss them. But yeah, there's... Um, uh, Scarface is really a cartel game. And um, uh, and the thing about it is that... Uh, I, I can't really... Is there any other cartel games out there? Like, there are games where you fight the cartel, but I don't think there's, like, any games where you, like, kind of, like, play as, like, a drug lord or anything like that. I'm trying to think. Like, I guess the closest would be Vice City and Vice City Stories, but Vice City, you're more of, like, a criminal empire. Vice City Stories, I guess, more of, like... You're not... Vic isn't really, like, a drug lord in Vice City Stories. He's more of a supplier. Um... Always, one thing that I found weird about the Scarface game is I don't think there's any jump option in this game. Yeah, I don't think there is. Um, you remember this place? This is from the movie where the um, uh, Manny and Tony were at the pool at the hotel. Give me a scotch. On the rocks? Straight up. I know you. No, we never met. No, but you've been here before. A long time ago, you were with another man. Tall, good-looking Cuban guy. Oh, you got a good memory, Tiger. Felix forgot to mention that. Felix? 
That dog, he owes me a night out. You know each other? Felix is working for me now. He said you might be interested in what I got to offer. Well, that's fine in the boy, isn't it? Look, supply is tight in Miami right now. Expensive. All my shit's being controlled by Gaspar Gomez. That prick keeps the prices too high. I know this town better than anyone. I get the shit, you sell it. I collect my coin, you keep yours. Hmm. Okay. You've got a deal. What do you go by? Montana. But you can call me Tony, okay, Pussycat? Okay, Tony. I can only push so much product in a day. The bar has its limits. There are others around, though. Just can't always trust them. Me? I only trust one person. I hear you, Tiger. Practice dealing with Coco's dealer. So the drug dealing is this, is like a central part of the economy in this game. Um, so, how come such a fine lady like you is pouring drinks for these assholes? Because I make more college money than a Wall Street broker running this bar. College? What you learn in college that's better than the lessons you learn in life, man? This from a man that probably doesn't even know how to read. I can't read, man. I can't read fine, I okay? I can't even read your fortune if you want me to. Oh, really? And what would you see in my future, huh? Why, uh, you, me, a little ice cream, some low lights, you know? Can't see that experience lasting more than a minute. No thanks. I'll pass. Okay, so this, a lot of people mess this up. Um. Shut up! Oh, wrong button. <laughs> oh. Okay, it's B. Okay. Don't you fuck with me, man. I don't like okay. nobody who tried to fuck me. So basically how the drug dealing in this game works is when you do a deal, uh, the fail zone is where they'll try to kill you. The um, dark gray zone is where you kind of get ripped off. The lighter gray zone is kind of where you get an average deal. And the white z gray zone at the end is like the best possible deal. And you want to kind of time this right. Let's see. Okay, man, let's Got go. It. You walk away like you did me some favor. Okay. So now we got 200 grams of cocaine. Now we take this to the um uh that guy up there. Hey, no one fuck me over and live to tell about it, okay? You gonna try to fuck me? Oh come on, I can get a better uh. deal at the local drugstore, okay? So good here. Almost had it. Still okay. Okay. Okay, and got another one there. You got something good? Because I'm here to buy. You're doing a good job, got you it. know? Keep it up. I'll take it. Okay, so now we have enough to pay off Vice to get the mansion back. Okay, let's see. Uh, we don't have a driver yet. Um, car we left over there.
The government not paying you clowns enough? Hey, buddy, we're vice. Not some loose-knit government agency looking for handouts. You know how this is gonna work from here on out, don't you? Fuck you. Mayor Bernstein tried this shit on me once, and it didn't work out so good for him, you know. Mayor? He wasn't a team player, Montana. You did us all a favor. Look, Montana, Miami is our backyard. The people pay us to make sure scumbags like you keep the economy nice and stable. We don't want to get in the way unless you force us to, understand? Our boys in the street keep tabs on you. You start doing too many things that upset the people, then your heat goes up. If your heat gets too high, then we'll be forced to make a house call. So, if you want to keep it cool with us, Montana, we suggest you make a donation. Maybe you two should go home and donate a little something to your wives, you know? Relax a little. <laughs> We're watching you, boy. You know what they, they meant when they said Mel wasn't a team player? They basically meant that, um, uh, uh, what they basically meant is they meant that, um, uh, let's save right here. They meant that Mel didn't split, um, uh, with the rest of the corrupt cops. But, uh, yeah, this is Tony's mansion, and, um, uh, and we do got it back. And so, received reputation level 1, 14 new exotics have been unlocked, $5,000 uh, suppliers, the micro SMG has been unlocked. You can start rebuilding your empire now, keep your gang heat low to maximize profits. So throughout the game, you're going to be building up Scarface, so we got the letter S. And uh, once we get to E, we will uh, be able to defeat Sosa. So I guess we will wrap it up here, guys. So um, uh, thank you guys for watching. We're going to have a lot of fun with this playthrough. I really love this game, and I just love Scarface so much. It is my favorite gangster movie. I don't... Yeah, I'd say Scarface definitely my favorite gangster movie. Out of all the um, gangster movies I've seen, Scarface definitely number one there for me. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this part. I'll next part for you guys as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, and take care, everyone.